Johnson District. This is Tuesday, October 26, 2021. The time is 9 a.m. We will let the record reflect that all supervisors are present at roll call. Madam Chairwoman. Um, do we have any public comments? Come on up. Oh, here's, this here's trouble. <laughs> State your name and address, please, sir. <laughs> Name's Ken Huff, 21568 Burwich Run. Um, as most, as a lot of people know here, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to play in the Saturday Men's League, um, the Wednesday group, and I have a group of guys with myself uh, Mondays. A uh, suggestion was made through the Saturday Men's League that on hole number 13, when you're going towards the green, the bunker that's in front of the green, the real big long one, that has the signs that do not jump down in. Uh, unfortunately, some of the older guys in the golf league are stepping down that. Uh, it looked at one time like the rakes were down at the bottom. So they were walking down from the top and then grabbing the rake and trying to get back out, pushing off the rake. So the suggestion that was made was maybe it's possible to divide that bunker and make it two separate ones with a staircase going down the middle. Um, it, was, it was talked about the three, in the three leagues and it wasn't one negative against it. Um, I know it's worked for, for John's crew and stuff, but I thought that maybe either steps or, or grass, and I figure if you have grass there, it's gonna get worn out constantly going up and down. With a, with a step there, um, I think it would speed up the play and it would keep that bunker looking as best as possible. That's all I had to say. Why are you in the bunker? I'm sorry? <laughs> Why are you in the bunker? Uh, I try not to do that. I try not to do that. Okay. But uh, you know, and I, I was the one elected to come here. So uh, you know, something to think about. And I mean, if someone could get back to us and let us know if it's possible or not, or Is that yeah, something that feasible. could be done, John? Not in-house, no. That, that slope is too steep. Um, <coughs> we could be done, though, absolutely. It's something that we don't have to go back to the architect to redo that? No. no okay. No, no. You don't have to go back to architect and do anything you want. To be honest okay, with you. it's worth looking at because it is even playing Saturday. We weren't in it, but just looking at it, and I saw the signs and I'm thinking, you know, that's. If you're right up here, you got to walk yeah. around and then yeah. walk. You got to walk all the way almost to the yeah, start of the green. That's what's happening. If they pull up to the green, they get out and then they walk all the way around this way because their ball's in the middle, let's say, or over well, to the side, walking, or they jump down. Walking is a top level of exercise. So I, would, <laughs> I would say to all players, they need to walk. I understand that, but it, it's also uh, a money thing, and it's, if, it's, if it's holding down play, then you're going to get less oh, people. But, uh, walk a bit <laughs> now, now, you do understand your ball that goes in the bunker is now going to hit the steps and bounce into the water. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> On the, that was brought up. I mean, one thing said it's the same as the person that leaves the rake in the bunker and it hits the rake and bounces into sure. the water. So, and I'm sure the league or the golf course could make a, an exception if you land on the steps. Do you get a free drop or not? It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to say, you know, the, to Play keep that well. bunker looking decent. Yeah, I mean, I can get some bids for it and okay. call a couple. Yeah, call a couple of people. Okay. Good. Anything Thanks. else? Thank you for your time. And you said right, you want it right in the middle. In the center. Well, you could put it where. Or you just want to set a stair. I mean, if, it, if you put it off to one side, I think the same thing would happen, and they would still jump in from the side. If it's in the middle, at least this way they can see the steps there, and you know, make them three to four feet wide. And what's no one? Once you Are have you the steps volunteering? There, yeah, I, I think we we take the uh, the idea, but I think probably have a professional designer. Yeah. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. You're not getting the so job. You don't need me to build it. <laughs> no, no, okay. yeah. Thank you. But thanks. Time. Thanks, Ken. Okay. Any other public comments? Thank you. Um, staff reports. Um, John? <coughs> All right. Where are my notes off? Right here. Um, I have no new hires um, to speak of. Um, we're still short of irrigation tech on the common grounds, and that's really it. Uh, golf course, we're where we need to be for this time of year. Um, we're almost done going through all the irrigation on the common grounds. We just have a little bit on the roadways. Uh, that'll be all taken care of. Spent a lot of money replacing stuff on that. Probably blew the irrigation budget out a little bit, maybe with like two, three hundred dollars, but it'll fall back in this uh, in November. 
um, because we won't have to do as much. Um, we're also going to start, uh, we're almost done trimming on the common grounds. We're going to start removing some shrubs on some berms. Uh, first berm is going to be just due to the accident uh, at Brixham, Brixham Run. And then we'll move forward from there, probably Lancaster after that. Um, flowers are in, pine straw is going in. There's a little bit left on the golf course. Um, the trimming of number 13 is being done right now by our staff in house. Uh, trees are scheduled for November 15th. Um, that'll be this time of year, it'll be the oaks and the um, palm trees. Um, the greens are doing really good right now. Um, everything's looking great. Everything's doing great. The weather's been fantastic, uh, other than this past weekend. But, um, you know, every, everything before that's been and now is, is wonderful. So, can't complain. Um, we just started spraying out all the rough and fairways, everything, basically the whole entire golf course. We started that this morning. Um, shipping and inventory is still causing some issues. Um, there's a product called Chlorthalonil. It's a fungicide, a very common fungicide, but a very good fungicide. Uh, it's having a worldwide issue right now, um, manufacturing, shipping, and, uh, you know, in current inventory. Um, so that's just something I got to keep an eye out for. Maybe find alternative uh, products to replace it if it does become an issue where we can't even get it. Um, and then I had somebody inquire to me about the pump house bids. Uh, a company, uh, Wesco Turf, bought a pump house or bought a pump company, and they were asking me about. It. They came and visited. I let them visit the site, and I said, as soon as I know something, I'll let you know. As far as um, as far as that's concerned, and uh, the Dodge has finally taken its last breath. Um, what it, year is that? Uh, 06. Okay. Um, last week it, it uh, threw a crankshaft bearing, um, and in turn that bearing wore out that part of the crankshaft. So, you know, Dave and I looked into it, um, rebuilding the motor compared to buying a remanufactured motor with like a 100,000 mile warranty um, is about, it's, Probably about four hundred dollars. The only difference. So we obviously said, okay, well, let's. We would go with the motor if we were to do this. Um, but then we had the issue of you got this three thousand dollar motor, and you're strapping it to a hundred fifty thousand mile transmission. So now let's say you want to even go and do the transmission. That's going to be about another two grand. Um, so now you're looking at about five grand to replace the motor and transmission in the Dodge. And I don't personally think that that truck's worth. Five grand. 16 years old with 160 about 160,000 on so um, Friday I went down to uh, just to go down and talk to somebody I went down to uh, coconut Ford um, and just compared apples to apples you know I said hey, I, I don't know if you have any fleet vehicles or not and currently they do not um, but I said could, I, could we order a truck custom the way we want it and he said oh absolutely and it would come with a chip um, it'd be about three months out uh, but as just like the Dodge, it'd be a, a single cab, you know, roll up windows, um, just a tow package, a white vinyl floors, um, has AC, uh, would be about 40,000. But now this is this number is quoted with no money down, no credit run, ran on Stony Brook's behalf. Um, I don't know because of the amount, if it falls under the municipal. Uh, discount I think it has to be a certain amount uh, as well but I I did inquire about that um, so that was just that's just one place I just went to just to kind of get a feel and they even said it'd be three months out before anything would arrive um, what I would ask you to do John is look at us a couple other places but um, you know, I know it's been stated that maybe we don't need a truck, but if we need to transport stuff um, and we use an employee's truck, the insurance nightmare could occur. And I think, um, I don't think that's really feasible, nor do I think a lot of these employees want you to use their SUVs or their trucks and stuff. So we should have um, a truck. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm, I, I do agree with the fact that we do need to get a new truck. Um, I would like you to continue to look. Sure. Um, I would like to make a motion that in the next two weeks that John look for something. And Chuck, who would have to sign for that? 
Well, if we locate something, we need to have them set it aside and we'll set up the financing. Okay. So I, I assume you want to finance it rather than take out. Oh, yeah, we're going to finance it. So we, we can do 48 or 60, up to 60 month on it. Okay. And just do a lease purchase where it's, you know, at the end of the lease for a buck you own it, it doesn't go back. So. Okay. And I, I've got several lenders that will jump on that. Okay. Um. Is there anything available to use? No. So that was funny. Um, yeah, I mean, I know. I mean, I've, been, I've been looking for another client, and it's yeah. outrageous. It's absolutely yeah. outrageous. Yeah, when I, I was meant more immediate. Yeah, um, the the stuff that was there was way bigger and unnecessary. You know, it was like Ford F two fifties and three fifties, and like you know, we just don't need dualies and stuff like that. You know. Yeah. Um, but it was funny because nobody, when I walked in, the finance guy met me out the door and he's like, oh, I'll get somebody for you. And all the salesmen are sitting over there and he goes and tells them, you know, that, hey, there's somebody out there and they're just looking at each other. And I'm like, hey, don't jump at one time, you know. And, <laughs> and we were laughing about it. And I was like, I was like, it's that dead here. He's like, yeah, it's, he's like, we just hang out, you know. And yeah. He's like, unless you're ordering something, um, you know, it's, it's hard to, you'll get it. You'll get it with the chip. He's like, but who knows what's going to, it's not even the chip that's going to hold it up. He said, it may be the steering wheel. It may be bed liners. It may be whatever, you know. Um, it's a lot of things that are holding vehicles back, so. Well, <clears throat> since we don't have a truck, and I'd like to do this sooner than later. Um, you, once, uh, you said that was, you want to do a lease to own? Let them know that when I'm looking? Yeah, it's a lease purchase, and actually uh, we'll set that up separately. We'll just purchase it from them. They're not going to have a program like that. Okay. Okay, so, so. Basically, at least with an option to buy. Did you uh, check all the dealers other than Ford? Uh, no, I just went there Friday on a quick whim just to kind of talk to them. I wonder why we're just going to Ford. Why? Fix a repair daily. I mean, really, mm -hmm. Chevy, you know? Yeah. Oh, no. okay. John, if you could before the next meeting. Um, Which is, when is that next meeting? Because I know weeks. it's early. Tonight. Two weeks from today. Okay. Um, look and see, and then at that point, if we can order something at that point, we'd have it by February. Um, in the interim, if we have to get supplies or something, um, I guess we'll have to have it delivered or... Yeah, I, I don't foresee anything. Uh, I know we're going to have some sod work coming up, but that's all going to be delivered. Uh, that's nothing on us. Okay. Um, I don't foresee anything that we would have to do. Okay. Um, off the top of my head. Um, Dave's losing his truck. Dave's truck, Dave, my equipment manager, um, his wife got into an accident in his truck and his truck got totaled out, so he'll be losing his truck this week. Um, it leaves us, yeah, uh, Rick has a, uh, we got four other employees with trucks. Um, the problem with that, John, is that we start getting into insurance. If right. Something happens right. while they're out. If on it, the but if there, if there was a case where we're like we just had to have something, if it was a must, you know, we would weigh out the option. Okay. You know, of doing it. Get that one from Lowe's. I was going to say you can always go to Lowe's and rent their yeah, truck. Yeah. Or there you go. Yeah. Do yeah. that. that would Let's, probably... That's what I was going to say. Um, you know, rent one for the day or however. Okay, so I, I think that would be the I'm very uncomfortable using employees' cars to transport our, our stuff because I think that could be a real insurance nightmare. So, I, yeah, there's a, them in a bad yeah. It, there's a lot of weird things. What if they're negligent when they're doing something for us and right. they, it's their fault? Or there's just all kinds of weird yeah. scenarios I see that could happen. Don't even ask. Yeah. It, it, it puts them in a bad Right, and if they say no, right. then how's that going to affect it? So I, I think we're best. So, John. Uh, before the next meeting, if you can come back with some numbers from other dealerships, sure. and then we'll make a, uh, you know, a motion to buy a truck at that point and, and move on with it. Okay. Um, and other than that, I don't have, uh, I don't really have anything else, unless I'm forgetting something. Um, we had that little meeting yesterday with the landscape. Right, I'll talk about that one. Yeah, um, I really don't have anything else. As far as, uh, Chuck, do you have an update on the pump health bids? No, we're going to get those out in the next couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks, so if somebody calls, I can say yep. next couple of weeks. Do we actually have to make a motion for a truck? Do we? Yeah, I Couldn't we spending. trust him to use his judgment work with Chuck and figure out, I mean, I trust that John's going to find a good deal. I know he, he's... Well, I what I'll probably... 
I don't want us to slow it down by having to wait two weeks to make a decision on if we're going to buy a Chevy or a Ford or whatever. I'll probably go to three or four different places and do like we did here and just get a mock up because I don't know what the what the credit rating is all going to do and the uh -huh. you know are we going to put anything down or just at least probably not so just at least the whole thing so that's good to know. Yeah. And then once the dust settles and say, hey, Chuck, this is our four or five options. What do you think? You know, we'll just. Well, like Chris, I, I didn't know. I trust you two to figure it out. Quite honestly, okay. but if we need to vote on it in two weeks, I just hate to delay it anymore. Yeah. We have to delay it. Let's see if he finds it. Okay. Good point. <laughs> All right. If Good point. John, if you could do it sooner than later, get in touch with Chuck and just let me know, and then let's move on with it so we can. Okay. I didn't know whether because of the amount we had to. No. Okay. No. I think we got enough of it captured on the record here that you guys are all behind it. So. Okay. Hey, John. Yes, sir. Who's responsible for uh, the corner of Pembroke and Bellhaven? The, the ladies' house? Yeah. We, well, I mean, I guess we are because we tore it up. It was our leak, you know what I mean? That's that's part of that saw that's going to happen in a couple okay. of weeks here. Because yeah. we're going to do something on Lancaster and stuff, too. I called last week about to check to make sure we could get sawed um, just because of shipping, not of material. And um, he said, yeah, he could probably get it, which shouldn't be an issue. So we're working on that. How many minutes are you watering the uh, annuals? Um, at night, I th probably 20, or like a 20 minutes ago, but not every night. You're going to have an irrigate, you're going to have a fungicide problem again. Yeah. Well, I cut it back. Okay. Because it's starting already. 10-4. And you got a broken head. You know where the uh, fire hydrant is, where you turn into Stony Brook or into the clubhouse, right in the corner there. Right there on the very There's corner. A broken head. It's going straight up in here. Left or like left or right side? If I turn in. Uh, if you're coming in from Corkscrew. Yeah. Left side. Left side. Yes. Our is this the committee that's in charge of the ponds and yuck in the ponds? Yes, they're over no. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay. I think technically we're in charge, but we farm it out to right. the HOA. Yeah. Right. Association maintains so, the okay. ponds. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Hey, John, you said you, you sprayed. Uh, Started spraying? Started spraying today, yeah. Well, we did T-tops. We've been spot spraying T-tops the past yeah. couple weeks. and But as far as like the wall-to-wall -wall stuff, we started this morning. Yeah. And how long is that going to do? Because usually it's, most of it's in the rough. Yeah. And then we didn't do fairway, so we'll jump back. Why this waits a week? Next week we'll finish what we didn't do, probably the back nine. We'll finish the front nine this week. Next week the back nine, then the following week do the front nine again, and then the following week the back nine. And then in, in between all that, we'll be doing fairways too. How long does it take before you see an effect? About, eh, with the, what we're spraying, we sprayed two different, so Todd sprayed one mix, just because of how much chemical we have of it. Um, and, and Brian and I sprayed another. So I'm gonna say, you'll probably start seeing a reaction within four to five days. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And you know that, was that maintenance screen over there off of two? Yeah. Are we using we're going to resprig that this, we, uh, I think it was last meeting we talked about getting oh, okay. resprigging that this, uh, right, this year. Anything else for John? Okay, Jeff? Yeah, uh, so so far in October we're doing a two plan or a little bit above plan. Looking like uh, by the end of October we should be anywhere between 15 and 25,000 ahead of plan. Nice. Um, everything seems to be going good. Uh, knock on wood, uh, without any weather interruption, we'll be good to go. Uh, we did take delivery of a brand new fleet of golf carts uh, in pieces. There's still some work to be done. They don't have the bed liner for the uh, beverage cart yet, so we will operate down at coolers with that. Once we get the bed liner, we'll be able to wrap and make it make the fancy it up a little bit. But we don't have our bed liner yet or our our cooler. Uh, Mr. Forrest tells me that it should be in, intimate any time now. Once again, shipping in China and blah, 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 blah. Uh, we did have a cart accident that occurred. Once we received the fleet, the golf cart was 48 hours off the truck and was hit by a car on uh, between 3 and 4, which I don't know what street that is. Brixham. 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 Uh, the sheriff uh, took a report, which I forwarded to Tony, 
Um, basically, the sheriff told me uh, that he didn't find the driver of the car at fault or the driver of the car at fault. He found Stony Brook at fault uh, due to the fact that uh, the hedge there uh, in the common area was uh, was uh, blocking the view of both. Uh, the question I had at that time, if that is the sheriff's ruling, whose insurance is at fault? Is it the golf course or is it the community insurance? Because, you know, I don't, you know, one pocket, left pocket, right pocket, but I don't want to uh, have our insurance rate go up. Yeah, they're definitely separate pockets, and that is a community push. So, um, Tony, I leave it up to you, man. I mean, you, well, my you know better than me. I think Chuck's forwarded on to the carrier for the club and the district. Have not yet. Okay. And have the details on what had actually occurred with it. I got pictures of it, but. Um, Did you have the report yet? Do we have the report yet? From well, the I, I sent you the information from the sheriff's department, so I don't. It was very short. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you probably need to reach out one. to them to get the full on. Yeah, we need. I to. never got anything but that. Usually takes three to five days, and then it's available. Do we, do we have any uh, authority pushing back on that police report? That's ridiculous. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I've, I've investigated never, millions of accidents, and and they never put a bush in, in the, as the reason why. Once you had it's already there. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's there. It's an incident report. Uh, it, it becomes an issue if and when somebody decides to actually file a claim or engage in litigation. You have yeah. that. And we get to battle the experts as to whether or not it's a line of sight issue, whether or not it's compliant with code or not. Yeah. And that's an important issue, whether or not it is compliant with the Village of Asteros Code. Yeah. And I don't know how familiar with that that deputy is with the code or with the green book, the, 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 the uniform, the manual, manual and uniform traffic control devices that have outlined. So typically codes are adopted by cities and counties that have line of sight requirements. And we talked about this at the board meeting in the past. Um, so uh, again, it, this, it, I would suggest is this is in the form to try to challenge that, okay. to see what happens in the future and to have that out there. But that he's not an expert, it's his observation, he's a deputy. And I suggest if we have an expert that testifies to the contrary, that carries great weight. Great yeah. I was surprised by it a little bit because, as well, it, that was a month ago or a few weeks ago when we, when we had that storm, it just poured. It was pouring down, right? You couldn't see anything. I thought, if you're going to blame anything, probably the rain. Right. Um, especially because the cart was coming this way and the car was coming this way. And the bush is here, so I don't Did see... Did it happen during the rain event? Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 It oh, happened that, during that rain. That's not reflected in the little... It was pouring whether, down rain. It was or not pouring. Yeah, whether or not that's reflected in the longer rain. incident report. And, yep. Chuck, do you want me to try and get that? So, oh, again, I don't know if this is the forum to talk about it. But no, it, the, the cart's coming backwards because they're trying to get back in. Yeah, that's the reason they're coming backwards. Is because they're coming from four to three. Yeah, they were actually coming. They're trying to get back to the two, clubhouse because the, the rain is coming this way. Yeah, what right. I would suggest is we get the full incident report. Uh, and, uh, and the call from the window. Window. Okay. okay. The and then we'll talk. Send that to the carrier. It's coming. At least the carrier on four to three. So the, okay. golf. the golf cart the cars had golfers on it. Way. Yes. So yes. part of a golfing right. round. Yes. Then, yeah. So we need that to. Not in there. Normally that's normally that car goes the other way. Right. One at a time, guys. One at a time. Car. No, I, I got the, I got the, 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 the golf cart that was being used to play golf as well. So the cars have to make sure that's understood. Guys. So that line of sight. These aren't even in the way. Your line of sight's on. Like I ain't no traffic stop. I don't know. It's it's our carrier that we would contact. My guidance always to my clients is that if there's ever any incident involving any of my clients' property, whether it's a club or the district. We have control over that entity to notify the carrier. For that. Okay. Put them on notice. Car insurance carriers love to try to deny claims for not being timely notified of an incident. Okay. Joe, Joe was notified immediately. Joe was. Our, yes. Okay. Our Joe guy. was? Okay. Good. Absolutely. Okay. So what was, what was Joe's reaction so far? Do you want me to go ahead and put it through? And I'm like, well, I wanted to wait and see what your guys, or you, which way you want to go here. Are we going to claim it against the golf course? Or is it going to be claimed against the community? Yeah. Either way, I mean, even, it, even if it if, seems it seems to me that this is a golf issue. I mean, you got guys on a golf cart playing golf, and they're returning because of a rain event. But it's a golf course. You know, they're on a golf cart, a golf cart crossing. 
playing around the golf. Uh, yeah, I hear that, what you're that, saying. That may be true, but it's also a visibility issue, and that's why the shrubs need to come down at the intersections. Right. That's Here, a district issue. As soon as possible. Yeah. yeah. So that's what we're working on. I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, but, you know, the sheriff, and I know some of you disagree with it, but the sheriff is saying it's a visibility issue, and that's what caused the accident. So are we going to claim this against the golf course insurance or are we going to claim it against the community insurance? I think those two are probably going to fight it out. <laughs> okay. That's, well, what, that being that's said, what I too, see. If this <laughs> golf yeah. cart yeah. individual is crossing a main road, mm -hmm. he's responsible yeah. for his yeah. driving. Exactly. It's that simple. If he's not looking both ways, I, I, there is a stop sign there for the golf cart. Is, is, a part, is a part of their play is signing some sort of an indemnification? Yeah, it's, it's, it's in there. Okay. It's in their ticket. That might be important to forward, yeah. forward that language as well. You assume responsibility when you drive one of those. Yeah, it, yeah, it is important. If you could forward all those documents you have. And yeah. you just can't just barrel through a road. Right. right. So. Oh, you can't? Or take off out through the gates and go grab a cup of coffee somewhere. Do you know what the age of the drivers were? <laughs> I mean, the, the operator of the golf cart, do you know the age? Over 18? Oh, uh, no. He was uh, 17. So he's over 16 they're able to drive the cart. Okay, what we may want to do, if you can send me that form. I mean, that, on, on the Sheriff's Department, it's all his information and her information. No, no what, what I'm saying is the, 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 when a person goes to play, they sign an agreement and they can use the cart. Right. They sign an agreement as to utilization and identification. If you could send me that form, we may need to add additional language for people under 18. Okay. Yeah. Do you think they signed anything? I'm sorry? Do you think they signed anything? Yeah. No. I don't think so either. The no. card's part of the... Because they're FTC, signed for the they're card. They're FTCU that. kids, right? What's that? They're FTCU, weren't they FTCU? No, no. Oh. They were... Uh, they were... Or, they're senior high school kids. It's terrible. They paid for the rent. Okay, they did pay for the rent. So okay, you know, it's it's it's, it's in the credit card when they signed for the card. <coughs> it signs as part of their receipt. Mm -hmm. Because everything's credit card. We don't do any cash. So that part we're covered on. It's just you know. Did anyone get hurt? No, nobody was hurt. I would like to see the homeowner get paid. Go ahead and have the car fixed and paid. I mean, it's not. Her fault per se, as per the sheriff. Well, that's probably what the insurance carrier will do is pursue. So it's important to provide that language, the, okay. the uh, golfing agreement. That so they'll have their angle there. Yeah. So. Didn't we? What was the estimated damages? On the cards, probably a couple grand because he cracked the. So, you know, the, the, the body, the shell the body is over. Shell. It's cracked from here all the way around like this. The frame's all good. And the frame's good. Everything else is good. They're just going to so put a the shell the on it. It's probably a couple thousand dollars. Gotcha. God knows who knows when we'll get it. I mean, you know. Um, didn't we determine at one point that you had to be 18 to drive a golf cart? I thought it was 16. I, I don't know. I, I remember we established an age. No, it was once they could have the driver's license. Was the, I believe the deal. Okay. I think that's with any of the cards. So. Okay. All right. So, Jeff, you'll get that information for Tony. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you, sir. All righty. What other good news do you have? Uh, <laughs> yeah. So a couple weeks ago, for you guys who are familiar with the golf industry in Southwest Florida. Richard Lamb died at uh, Fort Myers Country Club. Richard's been around forever. He was a golf pro there for uh, 30 plus years. And you're probably wondering why is he telling us this? Well, it had ramifications to us. Once that happens, Todd Brown, who was the head professional at Eastwood, moves into the position as director of golf, or soon to be announced director of golf for the city of Fort Myers. And he's hired a new head professional at Eastwood, John Jerkovic. Oh jeez. Oh, hmm. So we've lost our assistant already. So, so JJ is going to be here till November 11th, and then you'll be going to Eastwood, which is congratulations to him. Yes. You always kind of knew he was a temporary kind of bridge. Thought it was a little more temporary. It's become very temporary. We were lucky enough to have a guy walk in the shop the other day named Anthony Tony, who was a U.S. Navy pilot. Retired. I had worked at a golf club in Virginia Beach. Had moved here and retired. Moved down here, looking to retire, but still looking to work in a golf shop. Put in his his application. 
I called on his references. They were beyond going. And uh, I was going to hire him anyway. So pick up some slack. I mean, yeah. See how it goes. And then we'll see if we maybe get an intern. Okay. But uh, yeah, you know the old the old physics. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Action. And we received a reaction. <coughs> so I walked into that this morning. Anyway, um, other than that, everything's going really good. Uh, Beef Brady's event went really well. Um, the, uh, the week and week before that, we had uh, softball, um, baseball tournament for Collier. It was really good, and plays just been going up every day. So. People are definitely coming back. I am curious to know, does anybody know the status of Canadians? Are Canadians able to cross the border now? Yes. I think yes. in a couple of weeks they can join. Yeah, came down yesterday. Oh. Well, <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Welcome back. You can still fly at the car ship down November 7th. They can start driving yeah. across the border. Okay. Oh, awesome. Well, How many back. of y'all come? <laughs> I mean, y'all are coming just so we're all of them. <laughs> all of them. All of them. <laughs> well, I, I think most of them. Most of them are coming down. Everything I read up in Canada is everybody's itching just to come down. So it's I been over a most, year. You'll get most of them back this year. Cool. Good. <laughs> That's good news. Sorry. Very good. All right. Well, and, and other than that, I don't have anything else. Okay. Um. Jeff, one quick, uh, we discussed this before, um, the HOA has contacted you with re reference to the um, Christmas parade. Yes. Bill, do you know what date that is? The cart parade for Christmas? December 4th. December 4th, okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, I do know that when speaking with, and I don't remember her name yesterday here, said that they were having food trucks um, and they were going to buy their drinks from Duffy's. Um, I would like it to be brought up that they, um, we had, can have somebody at the concession stand and they can buy the beer and soda and um, from the concession stand rather than going into Duffy's unless they want hard liquor. I, you know, they're using our tent, it's great. Let's make this work together. I'd like them to use the concession stand rather than going into Duffy's. Do you think you can bring that up at your meeting? I will. Okay. Do you want that uh, for any time they use the tent? Do you want that to be like open? Well, <clears throat> um, well, when you do the other with other events that I'm going to bring up, um, people usually bring their own, and they usually have other alcohol other than beer or wine or soda. So that we can discuss. But for the Christmas, because you're going to be there, you're going to have the food trucks. You're not using Duffy's for the food, so why not use us for the uh, the beverages? Um, and if, if we can find out if you're going to do that, Jeff will make sure that we have staff there to do that. And I think it would be a great way to work together. I'll put you that we're having our meeting next week. Okay. Um, what good time is it? I'm sorry? What time? Uh, we're going to start at 5. So it goes down to so probably about 6 o'clock or so, it would be. Right. And then the food truck's there for a while after yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Probably 6 to 8, 30. Yeah. yeah. So 5 to 8.30 is Someone stay off that road after at 8 o'clock. Yes. So, um, yes, if you could bring that up and, um, you know, because I just think it would be a good way to work together rather than going into Duffy's, they can just go right to the concession stand. Or we can have the cart out there, the beverage cart, and doing it that way. So, um, and Jeff, they did ask about using the tent on um, February 9th and March 9th. And remember last year we did offer them six free times at the tent and we said we would readdress it. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think we need to limit that because I know we're having other events coming in and doing things. Um, but they're looking for February 9th and March 9th, so if you could just check and see if those dates are available and then I can get back to Tammy. That's a new problem. Okay. And, um, we would just need to have somebody there um, to lock up the restrooms at the end of the evening. Usually Lloyd or Don or Don one of those there. guys are part of that, so okay. that shouldn't be a problem either. Okay. I just okay. sent a message to Chrissy to make sure we put personnel on for that night. Okay. So. Can I just make a 
correction, I got an email yesterday. It wouldn't be March 9th, it would be March 23rd. I guess there was some discrepancy with the um, Twenty third. Yes. Okay. Okay. Might push me back, but it's that big. So Jeff, we're still good with the March twenty third or anything. Yeah, shouldn't be a problem. Okay. In January, we're having the uh, Chicago guys Actually, coming back. It's February ish because Super Bowl's back. Because we're extending the NFL season. Okay, so what what weekend? February fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so then the ninth would be available. Okay. Okay. Um, Do you want? I mean, I know pro shop remediation is down here at six, but since I'm talking now, you want to talk about that now? Um, sure. So my end of it, uh, the pro shop was put all back together by Humpty Dumpty. Um, all the ceilings are back in, air conditioning's new, there's a whole new smell in there. Um, it's just completely different uh, feel. Uh, the, the wall, we did have some leakage one Sunday a couple of weeks ago, but they seem to have cleared that up and there's been nothing come through in the last three weeks. Okay. Um, stack bar. Everything's up to snuff, up to standard. So it all went well. Um, it was a little inconvenient. There was definitely mold spores in there. I did go to my doctor. I had been having a cough for a couple of weeks, months, and uh, my doctor told me I had early onsets of uh, mold. Uh, I'm going to use some word for it, but I'm clear now. Good. So, 